All persons coming into the Bahamas when the country fully reopens its borders will be required to have taken a COVID-19 test. Good morning, everyone. I'm LaDawn Davis, and this is the Morning Edition. Thank you so much for tuning in. Those comments from Tourism and Aviation Minister, the Honorable Dionisio Diaguilar, during his contribution to the budget debate, he suggested that an uptick in COVID-19 cases in the United States has played a factor. The decision comes after the former Minister of Health, as well as the Consultant Physician Staff Association, said no one should be allowed into the country without taking a COVID-19 test, and the rule that applies for residents should apply to visitors. These persons will require a molecular swab, PCR COVID-19 test with a negative result to enter the country. Given the spike in the number of positive COVID tests in the United States, and the uncertainty surrounding just how many cases will require the hospitalization, the government of the Bahamas has decided to maintain the current status quo until further notice. What we mean by that, Mr. Speaker, is that the government of the Bahamas, which now requires a COVID-19 test to enter the country up to July 1, will also require a COVID-19 test after July 1. When we made our initial decision, Evidence supported the opening of the tourism sector without the test. We had the full support of the tourism sector for this decision. But things have changed. The situation has become unclear and ever-changing. Diagular says the Ministry of Tourism has also seen its budget cut by nearly $14 million, or 19 percent, a cut from $73.6 million for 2018 to 2019 fiscal year to $59.6 million 2019 to 2020. He says the cuts have been deep, but the current economic realities demand it. Similarly, he says permanent elements have been cut by 2.6 million from 21.4 million last year to 18.8 million this year. This was the result of over budgeting for that line item in the 2018 2019 budget due to simply adjusting personal monuments upward every year, year after year, without consideration for retirements and resignations. When I ordered an in-depth analysis of this line item, because it didn't make sense to me, because I'm an accountant, the over-budgeting over was discovered. And this year's number better reflects what the cost will be for the upcoming year. To be clear, Mr. Speaker, there will be no reduction in headcount in the Ministry of Tourism. Just more accurate, more precise budgeting for the personal emoluments line item.